Welcome back, guys, for another Magic Online Cube Draft. What are we taking here, guys? What are we taking? What's the take here? What's the takeaway? What are we taking away from this pack and putting into our pack so as to make a pack transfer, a booster pack, a, a Magic Draft, a booster draft transfer pack? What are we taking here? I do like Signet. God, do I just have to keep being rrr blue? Rrr blue? Signet's the most boring pick, 100%. Ooh, I'm burping. And I apologize for that. You guys deserve better. I'm going to take Signet. I really like being... I like blue in this cube. And, and the reason... I've, I've gone over it before, but... This is a very mid-rangey one-for-one one cube, so if you're able to actually pull ahead in card advantage the way blue lets you do, uh, you're actually very favored to win. That's been my experience. So even if you play like the one-for-one one deck and then you play a card like Tidings, which pulls you ahead, or Sphinx's Revelation, um, you win. Like, you win. Like, that's just how it works. And I think the results of my draft so far have indicated as much, and I think that's pretty sweet. I'm going to take uh, Essence Scatter. I think this in prison, it will come back. I don't see a reason to go into a third color yet. However, this pack might push me into one. This card is just too mana intensive for me. I never want to spend my turn one casting it and then another, like turn two, putting a counter on it. If you could, I think Enclave Cryptologist, and this this should go without saying, uh, would be significantly better if it was, if leveling was at instant speed. Still might be the pick. I don't like Lash Out. I don't like Boros Reckoner. I don't like Grix, uh, Grim Lava Mancer. I almost like Hinterland Harbor. Maybe we can be a kind of like teamer value deck. I'm going to try that. And Breeding Pool also pushes us in that direction. And none of these cards are that great for... Uh, Ravenish Chupacabra is actually pretty good. I'm going to take the fixing here. I'm going to lean towards teamer. We haven't played teamer Thank yet. You. Vapor Snag, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Uh, Nissa and Phantasm Image. I'm feeling better about this choice. I like a Nissa here, for obvious reasons. If we took that Chupacabra, we could have uh, Woodland Cemetery now and be be really on point here. We actually don't have to be red. I'll just take the Nissa here. Misty Rainforest. Also, Virtuous Gear Hulk, I think, is pretty insane in this cube. I should have got a drink or went to the bathroom between the drafts. I always forget to do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I will pick I will pick myself if he comes back, even though it's probably not going to make the cut. How often do you do Teamer? I don't think I've done Teamer yet in this cube. Uh, I don't think it's always pick the image because there's a lot of cards that are similar to that. Like there's, there's like f four other image related cards. I think mind control is very similar to image. Um, there's Vizier of, of Many Faces, and there's there's Clever Impersonator, and there's Phyrexian Metamorph. Uh, the priority to get a clone effect in this cube is not nearly as high as in other cubes. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Golgari Signet. <laughs> I like Garden Go Restroom. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I'll probably do it after the drafting portion. Um... It's either Signet or Arbor Elf. It's probably Signet. It also keeps our options open in case we want to be black instead. Ah, you have my coast. All right, so we're just getting all of the, the blue-green lands. This pack's pretty meh. Cone of Flame might be good. I think it's Pestermite. In case we are, in case we pick up a Kiki Jiki, we can just play that. It's pretty good. Yeah, there's also Bribery. 
Uh, I, I think you do want to take your opponent's best creature. The problem is I, there's been multiple games where I just sit there with a the mind control or a vizier of the many faces in hand because this isn't actually a very creature-centric cube. There are a lot of control decks where you have to deal with planeswalkers and not creatures. So um, a lot of times I, I think that's right. I think those cards are great and I will always play them in the decks I have them. But having too many has actually been problematic for me on occasion. So... Um, put the signet aside. We'll take burst lightning. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. We actually don't have a. It might just be silent departure. Actually, what if we just take shrine and we're not white? We just make a million dudes off of it. I think I'd rather just have burst lightning. I'm gonna leave this in the side. We'll see how we do. I think Garrick wins over Enclave Cryptologist here. It's just a Planeswalker. Uh, I used to go AMD, and then I found out the results for streaming were... I mean, for me, it was just better than... Uh, than uh, Intel was just better than AMD for, for me, personally. I actually like Warkite Marauder. Oh, wow, the Blood Ray Elf came back. All right. Well, this has all been decided now. Yeah, all right, cool. Burst Lightning is a Signet. Might even just play the Golgari Signet as an off-color Signet. This is great. Uh, Sulfur Falls. I like Cultivate and I like Sulphur Falls. I think it's actually Sulphur Falls. Maybe. Yeah, it actually might be Cultivate. Passing on Elder was a mess? Where did I miss it? Where did I miss an Elder? Uh, probably, we're not cutting Essence Scatter just because of Bloodbraid Elf. I think Essence Scatter is powerful enough that... Yeah, I think it's Acidic Slime Cultivate or Sulphur Falls. Um, oh, Wicker Ballader? No, I think that's also fine. Like, again, like, this is like my 30th cube draft. And you get to a point where, like, you know there are other effects that can do that same thing, right? Like, I'm not going to... I get that the Wicker Ballader is great, but we could have just looked... We could have also just taken Acidic Slime. We, could, we also have Reclamation Sage. Like, there's tons of cards that have that effect. We're also red, so... We can get a braid. Like, I think Wicker Ballad is great, but I don't think he's better than certain other things that we could play. This is actually one of the... I like this Ajani a lot. The deck is primary blue. Also, it seems like we're a tempo deck. So I like being able to go Warkite Marauder into Aether to bounce your guy. I also like Rishkar here. I think Rishkar is pretty sweet because we can put a counter on, like, if we Blood Braid Elf into Rishkar, it's actually pretty insane. I think Rishkar is better than Ramgang. And the mana cost is much easier and also ramps us, so. And I guarantee you Ramgang will come back. I'm pretty sure it's 1,000% bribery. And I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Progenitor Mimic or Galta coming back. This is a late bribery, and I'm thrilled. I haven't seen I haven't seen results for any Ryzen chips. I would love to. I I would be super curious about it. Um, I just have an i7 right now. <laughs> Technically, we can still be black, but I don't think we have a reason to. Goblin Rabble Masters actually seems pretty good if we're playing like a tempo deck. We could just play the Atali again. I've been a big fan of trying Atali out and trying to like attack with Atali in this cube. So we might just be able to do it again. See, again, like Trigon Predator, another card that mimics Wicker Ball Elder. I'm just not, it's just not a card like you prioritize. Like <laughs> Bear? Mm, probably not. 
I don't think Atali is the best pick here. I think Goblin, I think Rabble Master and Trigon Predator are both better, but this is a card I really want to try. I'm going to do it. Oh, Frost Titan. All right. Frost Titan of Industry. That's pretty good. Yeah, Bloodbraid into Rabble Master is great. Not going to argue with that. Sword of Fire and Ice in the Tempo deck seems great. Arlen Cord is probably fine. Um, Raging Ravine also very, very good. This pack is pretty gassy. I kind of want... I think Raging Ravine is probably the pick here. I'm going to take the Sword of Fire and Ice. I have a feeling I can find other... Wow, this card... Oh, actually, Cyclonic Rift is insane in this cube. Just bounce your entire life. Uh, Supreme Alert Den Protector? I wonder if Hellrider is good in our deck. Probably not yet. I don't dislike a Den Protector. I also kind of like a Supreme Will. Even with Bloodbred Elf, it's fine. I'm going to take Den Protector. Hmm... I don't know why Threads of Disloyalty is in here. I really don't think there are enough creatures with this for, to make this card very good. I'm going to take Opt. Bulgart Ram Gang came back just as predicted. I'm going to take this a Johnny in case we find a way to splash it. We do have Cultivate already. I actually just don't like Bulgart Ram Gang. Maybe it's good, though. I don't think it's that good. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, Nest Invader. <sighs> Nest Invader or Mayor? How many humans do we have? Nissa and Elf. We have like no humans. This guy's a human, I guess. I like Nest Invader because it ramps us to four, so. This is also, I mean, this, let's, let's get it out of the way now. This is also a very, uh, experimental draft right like i'm not trying to pick the best card i'm not i'm not making any claims that i'm taking the best card in the pack i'm taking the cards that i kind of like and i kind of want to play and i want to kind of see how they work together so if your comments are bad drafter or whatever um you could just keep them to yourself because this is deliberate and um the arlen accord did come back which is pretty sweet and also if we did take the ajani we could splash it off this hollowed fountain Sphinx's Revelation's a good one. So is Jay Sprint's Prodigy, but we want to take... Probably Clever Impersonator. The thing I like about Clever Impersonator is that it copies Planeswalkers, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, I've pretty much assembled my own computer for as long as I can remember. If you guys want to see, if you guys want to see my sweet rig, I can show it to you. That's that's my computer. That's my computer, guys. And we want to go this way. All right, cool. Yeah, I think we're just taking Clever Impersonator here. Um, ideally, I like Jason Friend's Prodigy a lot, actually. Um, I think it's actually Clever Impersonator. There's a little Ronin Funko pop on the top of the on the top of the the video card. Ah, Search Tomorrow. I like Search Tomorrow a lot. I also like Scavenging Use and Beast Within. These are all good. These are all good things. I could see Search. 
Um, I had a, I used to have a MacBook, and when I played Magic Online, I would use Parallels, a program called Parallels. So I'm going to take Search for tomorrow. Garrick Primal Hunter. Disallow Mimic Vat. Compulsive Research. This is also a lot of three drops. I kind of also don't want to be Bloodbird Elfing in a Den Protector here. Which I understand we still have a uh, an Essence Scatter in the deck, but I think this is this is a stronger card than Den Protector. And a cube like this, like just having an answer to like something like Grave Titan or Frost Titan is pretty strong. Wolfier is even pretty good. I agree with you. So like surprisingly good. Like end of turn Pestermite into Wolfier Silverheart attack for six is just pretty insane. It might just be Garrick. I don't think it's Garrick, though. I think we take Garrick all the time. Maybe we just want to try Wolfier Silverheart here. I don't want to think we want, we don't actually want more counter spells, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Wolfier Silverheart. Stomping Ground is amazing. I want to take this Tooth and Nail, but we're going to take the Stomping Ground, especially with the Misty Rainforest. That's like having two red sources. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, so here's the thing, Sovereign. I don't like Mimic Vat in a deck like this because we actually don't have many ways to kill creatures. So we just have to either hope they die in combat or we also don't have any creatures with come into play ability. So like, what do we, we Mimic Vat back like a, like a, like a Nissa token? That doesn't do anything. Like a Rishkar, Rishkar token. This pack is insane. Thrag Tusk, Immortal Sun. We also, what do we have? Two Planeswalkers? Maybe three. We got a, we got a good amount of Planeswalkers. I guess we just take Thrag Tusk here. I think it's probably Thrag Tusk. Sheltered Thicket. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to take the fixing here. So our deck is... This is actually 23 cards. Our deck is pretty much put together at this point. And we can just pick up whatever... Wow, Jace Architect of Thought. See, and look, we have the option to get another Vizier of Many Faces here. Um, so we would... We, like, even without Phantasmal Image, which I actually think is the worst one. Clever Impersonator copies um, creatures... Or copies Planeswalkers. Phyrexia Metamorph copies artifacts. And Vizier is two clones that don't die to any target. Um, so... You know, the, without taking Phantasmal Image, we already had the option to get two other effects of that nature. So. I mean, it's just a matter of, like, knowing the cube and knowing what your options are. I do like Jace a lot here, actually. I also don't hate... I'm going to take the Jace. We don't have much card advantage in our deck. Wow. Riffling Cloudskate and Shivan Reef come back. I don't like Riffling Cloudskate. It feels like the perfect tempo play for this kind of deck. I'm trying to figure out what we're cutting at this point. Yeah, I guess we can just take land. Deck is done. Batter Skull. Better than Thrag Tusk? I don't know. Sphinx's Revelation. We can splash a Sphinx's Revelation off of this Hollowed Fountain. I don't like it, but it is an option. I'm going to take the Batter Skull. Scavenging Ooze, also good. All right. Disallow and Rune Snag both came back. This, so the one time we're drafting, are we just, I'm tempted to cut the red to be quite honest. There's no real reason to, but well, Colagon's command is pretty insane. We can splash it off Golgari Signet. I actually like Masked Admirers. I think they're good, but yeah, I can see cutting Ram Gang. I mean, I like against the aggressive decks. We just have an extra Batter Skull or a Pester Mite or whatever. This deck looks good. We just have to cut one card, maybe? I think we can actually play 41 here. We have Cultivate, Nissa, Rishkar, Nest Invader. Is it Signet? And Search for Tomorrow? I, I, don't, I don't know if we'll 16 land, but we might 41 cards, 17 land. <sighs> Nature's Claim, also fantastic. That's a card we wanted.
This is only 12 creatures, though. That's interesting. Garrick does make creatures, Arlen makes creatures, and Sarkon is kind of a creature, though, so it's kind of like 15. Awakening Zone is actually good. Sure. Just throwing Wildwood. Oh, man, another land to splash off the, uh, the, what do you call it? The Sphinx's Revelation. This deck looks sweet. We got one... Bribery is also kind of a creature, but only if they have creatures. So is Clever Impersonator. We actually have a lot of... We also have a ton of Planeswalkers, which is cool, so... Oh, we could have totally splashed Sphinx's Relation into Johnny Mentor of Heroes in this deck. I actually think Scavenging Use is probably better than Nest Invader in the main deck. In this particular In this particular cube. I just, I don't think we need the Signet. We have Signet, we have Cultivate, we have Search for Tomorrow, we have Nissa. I just don't think we need it. Plus, I'd rather not cut another card for it. I actually kind of like Ramgang in here because it's just another card to hit with Bloodbraid Elf. Maybe. Like, I just don't want to cut a creature and go to 11 creatures. Especially when we're trying to sort of fire and ice things. Plus our lands are really... Our mana base is good. I'm really looking forward to casting an Atali and actually casting some spells off of the Atali. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six green sources. This is nine green sources. That's a good amount. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven red sources. That's fine too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. So nine, eight, seven. That's actually very good. Uh, I don't think we play Batter Skull and Thrag Tusk. And I'd rather have Thrag Tusk. I think it's a better creature. Maybe it's better than. Maybe Batter Skull is better because you can just put it on things. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't know. You can also copy a uh, Thrag Tusk with a Clever Impersonator. You can bounce it with your own Ather Adept. Yeah, I think I'd just rather have, like, I think Batter Skull is more resilient and it, and it does more of what we want it to do. Oh, this is only 16 lands. We can actually add one more forest. Because we're gonna have to cut it. We're already going over by one card right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green sources, which makes sense, right? Got a lot of double blue cards though. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, it's eight blue sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Yeah, this is actually fine. Ten, eight. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Because Ram Gang is also triple green, so. Because we also have Izzet Signet, which is a blue source, so it's actually 10 9. And we want to have we want to have untapped untapped forest or untapped green mana on turn one for search for tomorrow. So yeah, I think you always think it's it's creature walker because those are the most relevant ones. But I do like the fact they can copy like a banishing light.
Oh. Right at the time I was going to go to the bathroom and get a drink. Hmm? Well, here we are. Hand seems good. Two drop, three drop, four drop. Frosty. Got him. There is something to be said with copying someone's Karn and then exiling the Karn you copied with it. I agree with you there. Do we just get Sheltered Thicket or Stomping Ground? Probably. But, nope, now we don't because we want to get double blue. <laughs> Let's get Breeding Pool. I too have a fetch land, good sir. No, oh, I see. You're gonna. All I can think of now is this dude that is pretending to be a sword and being like, yeah, man, just grab the handle and swing. Yeah, man, just go for it. Yeah, no, there you go. Just put your put your hand around it. You're doing good. I want to play Stomping Ground here because I'd, I'd rather... Oh, that was supposed to be the stupid breeding pool. I'm so... All right, it's fine. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. The scoos is loose. The scoos... Scoos. Everybody wins. He's dead. It's always dead. No scavenging news has ever survived. Until the end of the turn. Never happened. Never. A lightning bolt's a good card to get rid of, though. That's a good trade. I just said now we're mortal enemies. We had a good thing going, and then you ruined it. You made us mortal enemies. It hurts. Thought we were friends. <laughs> Just put your hand around it. He said nice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that quote is not okay, man. All our lands are good. Including this one we're going to find right now. Boop. Everybody. Why are you like this, is what I said. I think you guys can't see it because of Fibble Tip. But, um, you know, we're, we're having a dialogue here. Chicken Sunday in the CST? What does that mean? Man, we are just neither of us playing spells, huh? Okay. Okay. I kind of like the idea of... It, when you're playing a deck that's like heavy removal, I kind of like the idea of playing Den Protector in it. Because, obviously, they can remove all your things, so... Yes, no, I know what CST means, buddy. Thank you, Adderfist. I don't know what Chicken Sunday is. <laughs> God. Uh, that stands for uh, Central T Central Standard Time. Oh well, thank you, but good lord. 
Oh, look, nature's little treasure knew the exact quote that Yuposhi said. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually going to Frost Titan here. Back, straights, back, all right. I was a chicken Sunday once. Can you milk me? No, I, I could bread and fry you, though. Wouldn't that be better? Chicken Sunday. Yeah. Rock your body. Kill then rift? What does that mean? Do you mean clone then rift? I can do that. If I kill it, I don't know why I'm rifting it after. Oh, kill it and then bounce the tokens. I see what you're saying. I got you. You know what, nature's little treasure? I think I'm on to you, buddy. I think I know who you are. I can't tell if you're uh, intentionally obscuring the fact that you're Jiposhi, if you haven't admitted to that intentionally, or not. Jiposhi's back, all right. What's gonna happen? This guy's gonna get killed somehow. That's really sad. I was gonna do a thing. Can't you let me do a thing? I'll let it happen. I can't stop it. That's why. This is actually good because if we clever impersonated, well, it doesn't matter. We could have just got, we should clone the, this, this idiot. Um, I was going to attack you, and now I'm not, because reasons. Birder, birder, birder. They have two cards in hand. That's pretty good. Worm Coil Engine, I choose you. They also have two cards versus our four cards, which is choice. Stop messing with my worm coil engine. Are you going to do another thing? Oh my god. Oh, you're going to cycle your sweltering suns. I'm almost out of sunkist. Diet sunkist. This is a good year. It was a good, it was a good drinking experience. I love that your name is Flying Spaghetti. That's funny to me. Oh, that's not an exciting card, but a very good card. So. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy. I got a worm coil engine and I know how to use it. Oh, I see. Well, that's good, but you can't tap my guy, so I don't care about all that nonsense. Plus, I got burst lightning, so I can just take him out. Take him down to Chinatown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. We can't burst lightning and 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 Jace Architect of Thought in the same turn. Actually, what we can do is just Cyclonic Rift here. Feel good about our life choices. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana, so they'll have seven mana. So they could go Lantern for three land Worm Coil, which I'm fine with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't go five. We can go five and three, but unless this guy's gone. Oh, we also rift the chromatic lantern, don't forget. And if they want to just play a Johnny instead of a... Uh... Well, the thing is, like... The thing is, we don't lose anything by rifting a Johnny. Because we still have Burst Lightning and Bogart Ram Gang in hand. So they can actually play a Johnny tap this guy down. 
think they're just going to go Lantern to Johnny. Seems fine. Did you guys hear about Warmer Coil Engine? Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! But if you riff, then they have five cards and we'll have three now. Yeah, that's true, but we know what they are, so... Oh, boy. <laughs> You're like, it's just not a concern. I'm like, I, I know what that card is, though. Oh, my God. That was such a good draw. I think this game might have just ended. Indestructible, too. This is how you do. This is how we do it with the... Planeswalker Dragon Party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Planeswalker Dragon Party because Planeswalker Dragon Party don't stop. Oh, but also this guy. Give them to me. I'll take whatever pile has two. I think it's probably going to be Land Signet. Oh my god. Actually, we take the Warkite Marauder, right? Because then we can just target their, their Worm Coil engine. And, uh, yeah, this is better. We just target the Worm Coil Engine. Signet is a blank, right? So we're either drawing a random card off the top of our deck with the land, or we're just taking the Warkite Marauder, which we know what it is. But if we attack with this and make their Worm Coil Engine an 0-1 with no abilities and we just burst lightning it, it's pretty good. That's a thick boy. So they have two cards in hand still. Make you do a thing. What's the most broken thing I've ever done in MTG? Play Eldrazi at Pro Tour Oath of the Gatewatch. Well, it doesn't have haste. We don't have to do it right now. I mean, they also go to 8 and we have Burst Lightning in hand. So, like, if, if Sarkon is able to deal two more attacks, then we're also in really good shape here. Uh, we're going to cultivate because we haven't played a land this turn, so we can actually just play one of the two cards we draw. Do we not get two? There we go. Jace is going to die from our value. No way, I'll never let Jace die. Thank you so much for loading all your drafts to YouTube. They get me through the day at work. Thank you so much for saying so, China Bull. Glad to hear it. Um, I'd rather... So I'm, I've been loading two drafts a day on, on YouTube. One at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and one at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I know that's a lot, especially because the drafts are like an hour and a half to two hours long. China Bull, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Um, but my, theory, my, my idea behind that is I just want to... I'd rather you guys have an abundance of content that not enough. So... Oh my god, what's going on here? Once I dropped a box of cards in the mud by accident, so dirty. What is... Is that the dirt? Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. Nature's little treasure, you are truly nature's little treasure. Interesting. This is intriguing. Okay. I want at least two red sources, which I have. I think they might be dead here, right? Uh, red, green, blue, 
green. Like we get to burst lightning in this guy. Oh, no attacks. All right. I think you're definitely dead then. We have no cards in hand. All right. To the dome. We're going to be dragon speaking, brah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So we saw Chromatic Lantern, we saw Boros Signet, and we saw uh, Worm Coil Engine. I think Nature's Claim is a completely reasonable inc inclusion. Um, I do like Den Protector. I probably want to take out Bloodbraid Elf, to be quite honest. I know it seems silly. Ram Gang doesn't seem great. We can take out Bloodbraid Elf, and we can add Disallow, which I think is really good. Got to take out one more card to go down to... Maybe Ather Adept? Puts us down to 10 cards, though. Not thrilled about that. Actually, Burst Lightning, I can see cutting. They didn't have a ton of targets for Burst Lightning. It was good when it was... It was good because it won us the game, but I don't think it's actually... Uh... We just cut... And the reason we cut Bloodbraid Elf is because we're boarding in Disallow and Den Protector. Oh, we didn't bring in Den Protector? Yeah, we did. Where is it? Oh, it's on two. Uh, so now we have Essence Scatter, Den Protector, and Disallow, all of which are pretty bad with, uh, with Bloodbraid Elf. So we also don't want to end up hitting something very vital, uh, some, something situational like a Nature's Claim or even a Cyclonic Rift because both of those are just better off the top. So, oh, oh this hand's actually great. Turn two Marauder into turn three Rishkar. That's really okay. Plus, we have a Nissa to hit that fourth land drop. Yeah, this hand seems awesome. And if this dies, we can just play Nissa on turn three and then Rishkar to put counters on both. So, either way, seems good. We'll play you. Uh, when fans see me in IRL, they just call me Frank, I think. I don't think they call me my whole name. That's weird, right? Wow, did you guys hear Hunter in the background? A lot of times they ask me if I'm Frank Lepore, which happens on Magic Online too. It happens everywhere, I guess. All right, four mana. Here comes Jace the Mind Sculptor. Blue source, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Nah, halfway there. Are you the nature's little treasure, Juposhi? If that is your real name. I think it is. Here we go. Well, it's only it's two, it's actually two red and one blue now, so I don't know if this is gonna be a. I don't think this is gonna be a Jace the Mind Sculptor here. Oh, they tapped wrong because they gotta add the two for the Mind Sculptor. What's the hold up? 
today, Junior? Oh no? I don't know what that means. I'm disconnected? I can still hear you. Nothing in Magic the Gathering is as good as Cryptic Command. And I'm also tilted by that quote because uh, the the T in, in The Gathering is not capitalized. So that is unfortunate. With my bare foot, I just kicked my steel toe boot. I feel like that's the opposite of how that's supposed to work, right? I feel like you're not doing that correctly. I don't know what's going on right now. How can you be disconnected if you if you just messaged, if you just sent a message? I don't understand. I'm very confused. Oh, now they disconnected. Now they legitimately disconnected. Oh man, I get so triggered by by incorrect pronounce incorrect grammar. So triggered, dude. Yeah, it, typically when you have boots, um the strategy I implore is putting the foot in the boot first and then you kick the thing. Um some people do it differently. Some people like to to leave the boot off when you kick the thing, and then some people like to kick the boot itself. I don't know. I I think they all have their uses. But, you know, uh, so, so there's two separate, there's two rules for, for, for after, for post colon, <laughs> can't, for post colon grammar. Like you can either, you can either capitalize it or not capitalize it, but that's irrelevant because Magic the Gathering is a brand name and the brand name is, does have a capital T. So get wrecked. Regardless of what you think is correct or incorrect in terms of Magic the Gathering, the T is capitalized. I'm curious, can you legit, legit not pay your rent if you don't make your goal? I can pay my rent. Um, I have other means of, uh, I have other sources of income, right? But people on stream, I mean like, streaming is a part of my income. So I like being transparent about it and saying, if you guys are donating in the month of May or in the month of June or whenever, this is what it's going towards. It is going toward my rent. So you guys can be like, hey, that's cool. I wanna I wanna help you keep your house or keep your rent or pay your rent or live in your house or keep 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 streaming, whatever. So then you get an idea of like where it's going, right? And uh maybe that maybe that helps you guys, you know. Maybe I just like that level of transparency, basically. But alternatively, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Where did my opponent go? Oh, they're back. They joined the game. They have nine minutes. We have 19 minutes. So I have not moved out of the house of horror yet. I am still here, but things have been going fine. So no complaints. Where's the Bring Frank Back to Seattle fund? Um, I mean, tell you what, you guys give me an offer for a job at Wizards of the Coast or or Valve, um, I will come back. I love Seattle. I think Seattle is fantastic. Can my sub go towards an HBO subscription? Um, I can tell you that it will, but it might not. I'll be honest with you. Welcome back. No Publix in Seattle is true. When I was in Seattle, that was probably one of the biggest downfalls of living there. There was a Safeway really close to the house, and I would just go to the Safeway, and I was like, every time, I was like, it's not the same. Oh, they're just going to play a Johnny. I don't know why it took me so long to realize. They're going to kill this? Wow. 
Well, I could get a Starbucks job in Florida if I want to do that. Yeah, we're just going to play Nissa here. What's a Publix? God, mind stab throw. Come on, buddy. How do we know how much of your money goes toward the tiny hat fund? Um, I try not to talk about the tiny hat fund because I want it to be a surprise for you guys. Oh, there's a, a wild hunter as has appeared. Right, Chief? I'm sorry I don't have any pizza bones for you. What are you looking for? You want, you want everybody to see your, your beautiful face? Yeah, you're a cutie. Everybody knows it. A Karanos. Oh, that's the thing, isn't it? Boy, isn't that a thing. All right. Well, that's a... Karanos is a hell of a drug. I mean, we do get to kill on a Johnny Vengeant. But God, at what cost? It's a grocery store where you buy sub sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Oh, Coligon's command. Wonderful. Wonderful. Going to the face. Are you going to wildfire here with Col with Karanos? That's amazing if you wildfire. I might just concede. Oh my god, utter vomit. Utter vomit just coming out of my mouth. That's actually fine. We have He has six minutes, we have 19 minutes. Might as well just play it out because we have a land in the hand and they don't really have a consistent way to win right now. Karanos is not going to be online for a while, so they actually have to win this game. And we're not... We're at 17 life, so I'm not too concerned. Utter vomit, so milk. Wow, you guys are amazing. I'm a big fan of everyone in chat right now. All right. Chromatic Lantern. Unfortunately, Coligon's Command kills our Izzet Signet, which is pretty awkward. Oh, my God. That is not a land. All right. Well, I'm just going to pass here. Is it Charm? All right. Well, they're doing it. A grocery story by sub sandwiches. I'm crying. It's hilarious, right? Come on. That is not a thing. All right. Lantern is gone. Hey, look at that guy. Actually, I'm just going to bounce the stupid Karanos. Honest Tangents only plays. Is this a real life or is this just fantasy? Because I feel like I'm caught in a landscape and no escape from reality. Um, Monsanto, I would recommend uh, opening your eyes first. Um, and I, it's possible that if you look up to the sky, um, you'll see. I, I don't know personally, but I've heard, I've heard. Crack that mind stone. Monsanto, I got you, buddy. I got you. Log up to, now it's going to be my head, of course, but, you know, whatever. Karanos again. If we had one more mana, we could just disallow the Karanos, and I think we'd actually be in this game. Why can't it be a rune snag? Yep. So close, dude. Now we're going to just draw a uh, mountain. We literally we did draw a mountain. Literally one turn away. It's 
So this is a four turn clock if they hit four spells. It's a three turn clock. If we put that into play untapped, we do get to keep a dissolve disallow up, which could be strong. Uh, it's also a three turn clock anyway because of this guy. So actually we can put this into play untapped. Journey into God, they just hit they're just hitting all the things. Alright, we're at six. Uh, we didn't play Signet because they have Kolagon's Command in hand. So I just don't feel like having them kill Signet and, you know, the other thing. This, that, and the other thing. So we have the two cards in their hand, actually. Journey of Nowhere and, and Kolagon's Command. It's pretty good. Ah, crack in response, sure. <laughs> Frank Port need help my parents are making me move to another state for really stupid reasons. See, I was shooting hoops with a bunch of guys. They're up to no good. They started making trouble in the neighborhood. You got in one what happened? Well, I assume after okay, so I assume after that happened, your mom got scared. Um, Spliffacus, do you have any relatives in the other state that you're living with? Is that why you're going? They're going to kill my wolf. Kill my wolf. Don't fear the wolf, yeah. Come on, baby. We also get to buy one more turn, discard a card. Uh, now I don't want to discard this because reasons, so I'll discard the other adept. Oh, an, an island, all right, we're still alive. So now we know you have an island, which you're gonna play. Journey and two other cards, all right. Oh God, are you just gonna kill me? No, you're just going to go to my Arlen Cord. So this is going to be your last card that isn't a journey. Frexian Revoker? What? Give me a land so I can just play this. Jace Architect Thought. That's pretty good. Oh, that was great draw. Holy smoke, Arenos. Look at this game still going. Am I serious or playing with the joke? Well, I, I'm playing with the joke, obviously, because he would have said, yeah, I, I, my auntie and my uncle are living there. And I would be like, oh, so you're going to live with your auntie and uncle. In a town called Bel Air? Yeah, obviously I'm playing with the joke. That'd be hilarious. I'm like, your mom probably got your gun willing to fight, your mom got scared. I'm literally just reciting the, the the lyrics here. Come on. Come on. So we got a three, you play Nahiri. We can disallow the next trigger, which is kind of cool. So Nahiri's gone. Real question, please answer honestly. When Mike's sleeping, does he dream of himself sleeping? Yes, and the Mike that dreams of himself sleeping. The Mike that he dreams of in his sleep is also dreaming of Mike sleeping. It's a very, uh, it's a deeper, it's a real inception kind of, uh, gotta go deeper kind of thing. How is this real? How is this game real? We're still alive. If they draw a spell, we're going to disallow the ability 100%. They did not. We get to keep it. Keep it real. Keep it in the family. I don't know what any of that means. It's all just nonsense. They play mountain? Yes. So now we're in a good position because we have 17 minutes and they have one minute to win the third game. So, unfortunately, this is how you got to do it.
We can play we can play a tolly here. What kind of creatures do we even have in our deck? We can go get a um We can get a scavenging ooze. Play scavenging ooze and put ourselves to four. Which is pretty cool. We can go one, two, use this green, use this to activate this. We can't wolf here. We have to keep disallow or else we die to uh, Karanos. We're just going to put Nahiri to, to one right now. Oh, we're not. Path to exile. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have a way to bounce Karanos. So we're just going to count it. Like, we're not going to try. We're not going to win this game, guys. We're just trying to stay alive. Worm boy. Everything is all right. Worm boy. Out of sight. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Creature with haste. Inferno Titan. That'll do. All right. Well, game three. The first step to winning is not losing. He can win game three in a minute if there's no game three. That's true. That is accurate. All right. I'm just going to submit. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to go get, I'm not going to change my deck. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and get a drink and I'll be right back. hit the wrong button i always hit the wrong button all right back with time to spare seems good submitted the deck huh all right yes we will play first oh uh, keep this hand 1000 percent of the time
Turn one search. Live in the dream, just like we drew it up, guys. What am I drinking? I grabbed a Diet Mountain Dew, which is also uh, invisible due to the green screen. So it's literally a diet breeding pool. So that's pretty sweet. See, now the sad thing is we want both a an island and a mountain. And I also want to hit more lands. So we're in an awkward situation. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they have 37 seconds. I don't actually think... I, I forgot it was likely not going to be terribly relevant here. Um, let's just get the land we can do something with now. Okay, well... We'll put Den Protector face down so we can actually get Search from our next turn. Oh, Johnny. Well then. That was rude. I'm going to be honest with you. That was not polite. I will pass. Uh, Diet Breeding Pool does actually have... Somebody touching my signet. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Rally? Uh, I don't want this guy around. And two seconds. They have one second, so I think we're done here. Game round two. <sighs> All right, we're going to draw a card. Doesn't matter. All right. Um, I don't know if I like Bogart Ram Gang. I'm going to be honest with you. That card's kind of... It's kind of dumb. I think I'd just rather have Den Protector or Disallow, even though they're worse with Bloodbraid Elf. Or Awakening Zone. Awakening Zone could be good. We don't have any, like, X spells, though, is a problem, so I don't know if that's great. I do like having Disallow in this, in this deck, though. I think we can risk it. I think, ideally, we'll have at least one of these in our hand by the time we uh, cast Bloodbraid Elf. So, And uh, just like we drew it up, guys. Oh, good times, good times. Keep this hand all day. So it's always going to be green. Probably a stomp. Probably a sheltered ticket. Yeah, I like Thicket just because it comes to play tapped, but I also like, or, uh, you know, it's, it's so we don't draw a tap land. But alternatively, I do also like just having the um, the Thicket in the deck so we can search for, so we can actually just cycle it later. This also makes Hinterland Harbor, Hinterland Harbor come into play untapped on turn two if we draw that, so. It's pretty good. I'm going to save the Scavenging news until we actually get, like, some value off of it. Here we go again. Here we go again. We get to resolve a cultivate, which is pretty good. I will get forest. I'll get two forests here.
Taking down the shields on turn four against the blue-black deck does not seem terrible, but I'm sure they will find a way to make us l regret that. They did not. Seems good. And they missed the land drop. All right. All of these things are okay. Especially when we get to play a Jace. Oh, we get to Signet and play a Jace. That's pretty cool. Or we could just play Thrag Tusk too. I think it's actually Signet Jace. Caesaru, thank you so much for the bits, man. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, uh, still not working out. That's amazing. I am amazed. I uh, couldn't have played around that anyway, even if we played five lands, so. Now I feel less bad about them. Not having uh, lands. Jace is very, very good against uh, Better Blossom, though. Keep that in mind. Yeah, please, please bounce my Thrag Tusk. I dare you. We do need more non-land cards. It's a good one. It does get blocked by everything, though. One, two, three, one, two, play land. Sure. A lot of uh, non-creature spells happening here. Mind Shatter. No, it wouldn't be Mind Shatter for five, though. That doesn't make any sense. Black Sun Zenith for three. All right. Something good. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. They have two cards in their hand. We don't know what they are. Interesting. Yes. 
guess. All right, that was an interesting choice. Unless that's all you had to do there. I'm just going to put you at three here, unless you want to redirect this. and I mean, you're just literally taking four less if you do that, sure. So far, they've countered three of our, of our numerous relevant spells. Our relevant spells have been Jace, Sword, Wolfier, Silverheart. And those are the three they countered, and Thrag Tusk and Scavenging Ooze were dealt with by... Black Sun Zenith, so. Uh, for a modern event, Jeskai Controller, Mardu Pyro, Avengers in two hours, and I can't choose. I, I agree 100% with what Adderfis said. If it's modern, you go with the deck you are the most comfortable with. Because otherwise, I mean, that's that's very relevant in, in, in this format. All right, well, that's unfortunate and great. Enjoy your worm coil engine, and I hope I can get something to deal with it, but I don't think I can because you have a spell skite. All right, top deck one time. I feel like we're I feel like we're very ahead here except for this bribery which just gets uh presumably warm coil engine interesting why wouldn't you get warm coil engine there we don't have warm coil that was the last deck wasn't it we stole the worm coil that's not in our deck I'm such a dummy They have one card in hand, so. Let's see what happens, I guess. They're going to redirect. Yep. So you trade here, or do you just block the beast? Block the beast. It seems good. I mean, they lose in like five turns because of the, uh, wow. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Glensley, a siphoner and a forest. Sure. No, no blocks. Come on, something good. It's actually not terrible. Can we not lose in five turns? Wow, attacking with Spellskite. I'm intrigued. Bloodbraid Elf. That's pretty good. Chromatic Lantern. God, they all have Chromatic Lantern, don't they? Can we just draw can we just draw burst lightning? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're still alive next turn. Burst lightning one time. Garrick's not terrible. It 
last card's a counter spell. It's pretty impressive. Your last card is an X spell for a million. Your last card is Sphinx's Revelation that you're waiting for a Chromatic Lantern to use. I mean, the thing about worrying about some kind of attacking creature clause is I don't think there's anything in the blue-green-red deck that does that. And you're also playing... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can actually pay 5. Then you go bounce, bounce. Now nah, we'll just disallow this. Um, But they're also like attacking with a bunch of dirtles anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. <laughs> yep. There's no way you draw an extra card here, right? Yeah, that's a little greedy. <laughs> Watch, top card's going to be Burst Lightning. Every card that isn't a Burst Lightning is one step closer to not a Burst Lightning, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's not a Burst Lightning. I'm going to block here because it doesn't kill any... Actually, anybody going to Garrick? That guy? Sure. I'm just going to block here. One time. I'm surprised at how not bad that is. I mean, Spell Sky's still a thing, right? We're still alive. Actually, Burst Lightning, we had to get rid of that, didn't we? Block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, still alive. All right, so we know they have spells going in. Spells. This is intense. Oh, vomit. That's pretty good. Yep, all right. Cool beans. So we saw a Crystal Shard again. Um, and again, like, what did Crystal Shard do in that matchup? It tried to bounce my guys. It didn't really do a good job. So, I mean, I don't know. And I'm not saying that the card is bad. I'm just saying there are better cards. Of course, the next card was. Oh, no. Wait, so we saw a uh, Chromatic Lantern, we saw a Crystal Shard, and we saw a Bitter Blossom. So we're definitely bringing in Nature's Claim. Uh, Batter Skull seems pretty bad in that matchup, right? Like, it doesn't. Like, they just bounce the Germ Token with Crystal Shard or, you know, what have you. Um, how good is Karn Liberated in Cube? Uh, amazing. First pickable, 100%. Yes. Please, first pick him. And to your heart's content. I'm going to take out Ooze. Ooze didn't seem great. I'm going to keep this hand because we can cycle this. So it's basically like being... I 
How good is Mountain and Cube? Uh, actual terrible. How good is Ancestral Vision and Cube? Very good. Bonfire and Truth the Angels? Neither. Neither of those are very good. That's frustrating. Actually, we can copy that with Clever Impersonator, which is nice. Don't be a land. Thank you. Don't be a land. Well, at least you weren't a land. How good is Yargle in Cube? Uh, I mean, you know, as good as any legendary frog can be, I guess. Could have been so good together. So we know they have Disallow and they have Dissolve, which is really problematic because I ain't trying to be either one of those, but whatever. Like, we can't just hold this forever. They have more of a chance to have it next turn, and they don't actually have to play anything else because they're just sitting behind a Bitter Blossom, so. Yep, they're just choosing which counter to use on this guy. Sure. Uh, Mimic Vat is, I think Mimic Vat, Mimic Vat is pretty medium, so. It also depends on the deck. Like, I wouldn't play it in a deck like this where I have no way to control which creatures are going under the Mimic Vat. So, like, I mean, if, if you're playing a black deck and you're able to control all the creatures that you put under there, if you're able to kill their good creatures and put them under there, Mimic Vat gets better. If you're just at the mercy of whatever creature happens to die in combat, not as good. All right, this is actually ridiculous. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lands, 2 spells. Meanwhile, our opponent has Bitter Blossom and Ancestral Vision and a Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Yep. Like, we just, our deck has no way to come back from a draw like this, which is pretty infuriating. Especially because last game we had to struggle until they're very, until they were down to literally 2 life. Um, if we, if they didn't hit Cyclonic Rift, we could have Essence Snared, Essence Scattered the, uh, the Spell Scout on the way down, Top Deck Burst Lightning and killed them, which would have been incredibly epic, but now this is how we get to lose, where they get to sit behind Did they not hit a fourth land? Or are they just like, what? They've missed two land drops? On the earth? This is all very strange. What in the actual... I mean, nothing we play here is going to resolve, right? Oh, I'm so surprised. You think banned cards other than Skull Clamor should be modern? No, not really. There's no reason for it. It doesn't represent modern. I mean, because, like, what are you going to put? You, you can't put, like, the, the reason they're banned in, in modern is because the modern card pool, they're stronger than the modern card pool, right? So, like, you can't put a card like Umazawa's Jitte in the cube because it's just one of the, it'll be the, it'll be the strongest card in the cube. You can't put cards like, uh, I'm trying to think of another, like, non-ancient, non, non, um, what do you call it? Non-affinity lands that are banned right now. Like, I mean, then you can put, you can probably put, like, Second Sunrise in the cube, right? And, and it wouldn't matter. But then it's, like, super arbitrary. Like, then you're having to decide which banned cards you do put in the cube and which banned cards you don't put in the cube. And then it's it's just easier and more it's more logical to just not put any, right? You know what I mean? Chromox, yeah, like Chromax is probably fine in the cube.
What do I think is the best color combination in, in cube? It's probably blue black. Um, and if you're able to splash Sphinx's Revelation, I think it's all the better. I don't think you just, I just don't think you need Pronder and Preordain. Like, there's no reason for it. You have Serum Visions, you have Opt, you have Ancestral Vision on one. Like, I just don't think the cube needs to be filled with like five different one mana cantrips. It's just not, it's not, it's just not necessary. This hand is great. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind seeing them. I don't think they, I don't think they in particular would be broken, right? But I just, I also don't think it's like, it's not a card that I'm like, man, I'm so upset that it's not in the queue. It's just, that's not, that's not where I'm at. But yeah, like, and like Splinter Twin, right? And or Birthing Pod. I think those cards would be so far above um, the rest of the cube because they're just really strong mid rangey cards that just win out of nowhere. Is Hanger Pack Walker great? It's, it's fine. It's really mana intensive. It's really slow and dirtily. Um, I think there's certain decks that can play it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's great. Cryptic Remand, are you just asking me about all your picks? That's pretty funny. I want to be able to keep mana up next turn. And if we draw a land, we can keep Essence Scatter and War Kite Marauder. So I'm just going to go with Signet here. It's also about I need this in order. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I can I can understand that. Modern definitely has a feeling to it, right? Like there's definitely cards you wanna you wanna play because of the feeling, but well that's unfortunate. I mean, worst case scenario we'll essence scatter and make a thing. I mean, I will essence scatter a, a threatening creature if I have to, but Actually, we probably should have Garrick made a wolf, right? No, we want to put this guy out to make this an 0-1 and then kill it. And then they get no value. Ideally, they just don't play anything here, right? They play a tap land or they tap out for a signet or something. Tap land down. All right, that's one, one step. One step closer to the edge. That's great. And I'm really sad about it, but I'm okay with this. Cause I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. I don't want you to get a little dude. Don't you go and get a little dude. Kill that guy and get no dude. How many of my opponents are gonna have bitter blossoms? Both of them? Two of them? Two out of three? The answer is two out of three. 100%. That's 100% two out of three. If I want to build a wildfire type deck with destructive forest, do I need, just need a bunch of artifact mana producers? Uh, that helps, yes. You also need a bunch of five or six toughness creatures. You don't want to you don't want to kill everything and have your opponent with the only... Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. I guess they get to block here, but we get to kill a Kitchen Finks for a War Kite Marauder? We could have played Frost Titan first to save everything. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's probably better to keep this guy around. I don't think we throw this away just yet. Seems pretty good. 
Also, if you guys haven't done so and you want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe or follow on Twitch here. Both of those things help me out a ton. And uh, we're trying to break we're trying to break subscriber goals here. We're getting close. No woman, no cry. Boom. Wow, all these creatures are just amazingly bad with Warkite Marauder. I am impressed with how bad these guys are. Oh, the dude. It's the dude. I'll choose Well, this guy we're choosing probably you because I don't want you to get your Oh, this guy this guy himself doesn't have island walk. I think we actually just kill you, right? This is also eight damage. It's a lot. So they're gonna have one attacker next turn. I'm pretty sure we just keep double counter spell up. Uh, I like Sphinx's Revelation more than a Leshnorn. I think it will keep you in games. Like, there's there's matches where you just play Leshnorn and then they kill it. There's very few matches where you get to resolve a Sphinx's Revelation for seven. Or more. And uh, lose the game. Just very rare. They're also at three in the Hibiter Blossom. I think this game has officially ended. All right. They agree. Another Bitter Blossom here. So we're definitely bringing in the Nature's Claim again. Warkite Marauder and Garrick Relentless doing some doing some hard work there. I kind of just want to cut Bloodbraid Elf again. It's it's really funny that I'm considering cutting that. I like Ather Adept because especially because not only because we can bounce the one one fairy tokens if we just really need to, but we can also bounce Chasm Skulker if it's starting to get too out of hand. Um Rishkar, Hogar! Burst Lightning also useful. Probably take out Arlen Cord. I could see Bloodbird Elf being just better than Arlen Cord in this matchup. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes! I got it all. 
And I want also we will be streaming again tomorrow. We'll be streaming some modern, and later at night we'll be streaming uh, the the continuation of our set review. So we'll be continuing with black and red. So be sure not to miss that if you guys are interested. If you guys follow or subscribe, you'll get notifications when you go live. Also, if you guys are watching on Twitch, feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And those are my advertisements for the evening. Until we until we're done. And I'll remind you again, just because that's what a good friend does. Wow, this is a turn three bribery, just in case you guys didn't know. Uh, we're playing a Bant. We're playing a Bant turns list uh, from a viewer who wants his deck critiqued. If you guys uh, also are interested in getting your deck critiqued, feel free to take a look at my Twitch page. It explains the details on that. Basically, I will play the league, play the deck through a league for you. I will give you feedback on the deck. I'll make changes to the deck, and I'll let you know my thoughts. So, and you know, it's on Twitch and it gets posted on YouTube, so you guys can check it out after that. And it's a way to support the stream as well. So. But someone submitted a Bant Turns list, which I'm looking forward to playing because Turns is probably one of my favorite decks in Modern. Yeah, I do too, actually. And I, I like them because I like all the spicy lists people send in because they're not the, just the usual stuff. And honestly, I get less salty when I lose with people stuff, stuff people send in. Because it's not on me, right? Like, when I'm playing a deck I find online, I'm kind of representing that deck. And so I'm trying to, like, sell you guys on it. You know, I'm like, hey, I found this cool deck. You should play it. But when it's not mine, I don't, I don't, re it doesn't rep I don't represent the deck as well. So, um, I don't feel as terrible when I don't do as well, if that makes sense. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what your biggest thing is. Angel of Jubilation, Angel of Sanctions, Fleece Man Lion, Geist of St. Traff, Linvala the Preserver, which could be good. Reflector Mage, Sublime, Tireless Tracker, Voice, Wake Thrasher. Uh, your deck is actually pretty interesting. Your deck is like all creatures. Sword of Feast and Famine and Sword of War and Peace are both options. I think it's probably just Linvala. We get two guys, two creatures. It could also be Tireless Tracker. That just gets us a lot of value. But I feel like it's got to be hard dealing with a 5-5 five, five and a 3-3 three, three Flyer, right? I wish we took one more point of damage somewhere along the way, but... Pant turn seems like a lot of colors, though. Well, it is... I mean, it's three. Hmm. All right. I see. I see. I have a... Burst Lightning, though. So we can go Burst Lightning, Scavenging Ooze, eat your Lingering Souls and your Sower. God, that's really good. I apologize. That was very good. Mono removal decks are very good if you A, have card advantage or Planeswalkers to win with. I mean, if they have Wrath of God, we're in bad shape, obviously. I didn't see it in their deck, so it would have to be in their hand. Deck in stone? For a Linvala, and we get a token? Sure, that's actually fine. That's pretty good. Nope, that's not with the one. This one. 
And then we still have Blue. We'll just play Rishkar. Rishkar, Hogar. <laughs> Don't you have gun them? Jump block that angel. They didn't have gun them. So if we don't have to disallow something, we can crack this clue, which is nice. We can also eat a thing. Do both. We can do all the things. Um, that seems annoying, and I'd rather you just not have it. Four, eight, nine, ten. It's also, we can also attack for eleven here, which is probably game. All right, two one seems good. Uh, our deck seemed fine. I uh, I didn't think it was over the moon, but it was pretty sweet, and uh, ends up uh, bearing out. So two one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. It was just an impromptu draft that we decided to do. Ended up doing two drafts. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.